Hi, Plant Boss here. Welcome back to McCores Gardens here in beautiful Provo, Utah. Late sunny spring day, absolutely beautiful blue skies. We'd love to see you down here. You might notice the tables that are behind me on my left. This week is Kids Week at McCords, and we'd love to give your children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, the neighborhood kids, whoever you might want to bring down, a growing experience here at McCords. Bring your kids down for $5 a child. We'll give them a gardening experience and they will walk out of here with a really cool potted plants that they can take care of on their own and grow in the sun. Now, last week we talked about how to fruitify your urban garden. In response to that, we had a customer ask us, well, Kevin, if I'm going to fruitify my garden and I'm going to use some espaliers to do that, how do I prune those espaliers once they get going? That's what we're going to talk about today. It's really very easy. What we want to focus on on espaliers when we're pruning them are the long wispy branches. We want to get rid of those so that our fruit tree will be strong in the roots and also produce strong juicy fruit. So in order to do that we want to look for the basal leaf cluster at the bottom of these wispy branches. That will be a cluster of leaves that actually has about an inch to two inches of distance between the next single leaf. Right here is our basal leaf cluster on this whip. Then, for those of you that are familiar with pruning roses, you're going to count up three leaves from the basal leaf cluster. One, two, three. And then you're going to give a cut just like that so that the growth node on the whip will be there and new growth will be able to come from there or new fruit next season. The other thing that you need to remember is that where you have fruit growing, do not cut any of those branches off, these shorter, more stubby like branches. That there is going to produce some really good apples. But what you can do with the whip is count from the fruit, the fruit cluster again, one, two, three leaves, and do a cut just above that third leaf. Also too, now is a good time to be cutting away the suckers from the base of the tree. This tree does not have any suckers on it, but usually your sucker whips are gonna come out from the bottom and it's good to clip those off too to encourage fruit growth and also good healthy root growth. That's all there is to it to pruning an espalier. If you have any questions, please feel free to come down to McCord's Gardens and we can help you with those. This is the Plant Boss coming to you live from Provo, Utah, McCord's Gardens. Again, a beautiful spring day here. Come on down and visit us. We'll see you soon.